bang. 60 seconds you need to know before you go, folks. Um, wow, another ugly morning shaping up, even though, of course, outside it's beautiful. Um, nonetheless, uh, an ugly morning. But just as uh, I said with uh, my friend Jeff up there, former pro baseball player uh, from the University of Central Florida, ran into Jeff Daly here at Newark International, and uh, Jeff's doing some Fisker, FSR. Fisker, baby, let's go. <laughs> Jeff, great to meet you, man. Hey, nice meeting you. Bang. Mark Rebellion. Um, you know, there's always a winner out there somewhere. Yesterday it was Fisker. Uh, today it's anybody who's still holding on to some puts. And we've been talking about that a lot. Uh, folks heading out, uh, what, a, what a surprise, another day, another city. But uh, Dow Futures are already down better than 200 points. S&P down 29, NASDAQ, ouch down 110 points on this uh, triple witch. Uh, FedEx CEO says he expects a worldwide recession. And I got a little secret for everybody that hasn't thought so. We're in a recession now. Uh, but the FedEx guy is saying, yeah, global recession. I think we're gonna see three quarters. We've already seen two in the US of negative growth. I think we'll see three. Um, as far as other things we're watching other than that FedEx drop, which is huge, um, Bed Bath & Beyond closing 150 stores. Uh, Kanye West, I loved this one, terminating a deal with The Gap because he said, quote, a king can't live in someone else's castle. Uh, a king can't live in someone else's castle. A king has to make his own castle. I am John Nigerian. It's a castle in my mind. <laughs> and I appreciate all of you. It's been a great week here in New York. And I hope you tune in for Pete's The Take at 10.30 a.m. We'll be back Monday with, boom, 1 p.m., Rebel's Edge. And then I'll be back later today with 3 at 3. Hey, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bang!